hooked on having health insurance and uh, subsidies, then uh, they won't want to give it up. Thoughts? This is the classic liberal approach, which is to create subsidies, to create dependency, and then you create constituencies. And once you have that, you can't repeal them. I think Obamacare is such a mess that it probably will not have that effect in the end because it will affect so many people adversely that it will end up creating animosity against it. And there actually was one entitlement that passed in 1988. It was um, a catastrophic uh, care a bill attached to Medicare, which everybody assumed would be unrepealable. It was so unpopular it was repealed the next year in 1989. So I think this will probably happen to Obamacare. Look, the idea that only Ted the Cruz is speaking out against Obamacare is not exactly true. The head of the AFL-CIO is speaking out against it. As, we, as you reported a couple of weeks ago, those, the unions in the meeting of the AFL-CIO were railing against it and want it repealed. I think it's more effective if the labor unions, who are the most loyal Democrats in the country, are, are railing against Obamacare. This, what we're seeing tonight, is pure theater would have no effect. I think what might have an effect, if you want to attach something onto the resolution, you've got to have something that the country entirely agrees with. Attach onto this a, um, a provision that no one in Congress and no staffer in Congress is going to be exempt from all of the provisions of Obamacare and they will not be eligible for any subsidies. And that will advertise to the country because this is all theater anyway, and we're trying to make a point. It would make a point of the utter hypocrisy of people in Congress, the Democrats in Congress who pass this, who pass it for everybody else but exempt to themselves. That, I think, would be an effective point. But defunding it, it's not going to.